Turn on the computer. Turn on all the elements on the power rack. Switch on the control box. Switch on the ultrasonic stage controller. Switch on the metal halide lamp. Select the lasers required for imaging by flicking the individual switches. Then turn the key from standby to on. Switch on the main power supply. Then turn the key from off to on. Press the main switch at the back of the touch panel controller to turn it on. To open the software, double click the FE icon on the desktop. Deselect Initialize Resonance Scanner unless you need the resonance scanner. Select Enable XY Stage Control. Deselect Start Mechanical Origin Search immediately. Click OK. Select No for Execute Cleaning. In the top left corner of the software, click Layout to select the default layout. Start with the basic layout and click OK. From the left panel, select Ocular to change the light path, Epi for fluorescent light and Dia for bright field. Close the epi shutter to protect the sample from photo bleaching. Select the filter cube from the software or the TPC touch panel controller. The TD shutter needs to be on when using Brightfield mode. You are now ready to load your sample. Put on a pair of gloves and carefully clean your sample with a Kim wipe and 80% ethanol. Carefully tilt the upper part of the microscope backwards to access the stage. Make sure you support it with both hands. Do not let it fall freely on its own weight. Place your sample on the stage with the cover slip facing the objective. Use the wheels on the control panel to move the sample in X and Y to centre the region of interest. You may need to raise or lower the objective using the focus wheel to get closer to the focal plane. Gently lower the upper part of the microscope back into its original configuration. Check your sample by looking down the eyepiece and adjust using fine focus. Click on the LSM Imaging tab, located in the top left-hand corner.
click on the following recommended settings. Click on the PMT setting tab and select the following recommended settings. Click on the die and detect a select button and select the fluorophores contained in your sample. Set the laser power to 0%. Select the Live tab to start scanning your sample. Slowly increase the laser power until you see a signal. Select High Low button for saturation indication. Blue represents undersaturated, and red represents oversaturated. Once parameters are optimised, stop the scan. Set the image storage location. And select LSM Start to acquire the image. Go to the Series tab located in the right-hand panel and click Z on. Select Live Times 2 to start scanning. Move the arrow down to find the top of the sample. Select Register under Origin, then select Register under Start. Move the arrow up to find the bottom of the sample. Select Register under End. Select Optimize for recommended step size. Select LSM Start to acquire ZStack images. The Series Done button will flash when imaging is complete. You can use the slider to look at the slices collected. Click on the Z projection button to visualise a maximum projection image of all the slices collected. To shut down the system, close the software.
shut down the computer. Turn off the touch panel controller by pressing the main switch at the back. Turn off all the elements on the power rack. 